watching DC TV. Here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. Welcome to my house. and gentlemen welcome back to her house welcome back to my show welcome back to dc tv the holiday season and i have too much money to spend so i went ahead and i went on wwshop.com i bought the wwe limited edition wine and for the first time ever on my show i say it every time to tell your mother you love her every day and this is my lovely mother hall of fame mother right here you can actually talk. It's Hi. Hello, that's right. So we have The Undertaker. There we go, get those. The Undertaker Red, what is it? A Cabernet Cab Sauvignon. There we go, our, our wine expert right here. And so, uh, yeah, we're gonna crack this open and do a taste of Say hi to Kevin, everyone. And, and James. So yes, we'll let you know just how this tastes. So first thing we're noticing with this wine is we're having difficulty getting the cork out. Looks like a little chocolate chip cookie in there. Oh God, oh geez, don't, don't, don't spill that. This, hopefully we uh, get more wine than we get cork. This cork is tougher to get out than it is to get The Undertaker off WWE TV. So we got it open. It smells like wine. We did. That was quite so we have our Undertaker wine in our festive cups. Oh, oh, oh. It smells like Paul Bear's been in this bottle for a little while. It's very smooth, very buttery. It is. A little bit of the red stuff. What? First blood action. I'm not a big red wine. So. Yeah, me neither. I bought it because it's, you know, the Undertaker. Because he can't help himself. No. But don't worry, we'll have a little bit of the bubbly review coming up. I soon. understand. Very soon. If only we had some right, so how old cheers. Are you now? Well, I guess we will very shortly so have our Ultimate Warrior white wine review where we 18. make less messy faces. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. It's tied with you already, Papa. Thank you. We are Wait. back, Hall of Famer, with a Hall of Fame bottle of wine. That's right. The Ultimate Warrior and myself, Hall of Famers, and a Hall of Fame sister. Still didn't come up with a nickname for her. Killer Cat. She's, she's killing me. She's a killer. So we're gonna we're gonna crown. We had the Undertaker wine last time. So this time we're gonna have a little bit of the Warrior running through our veins. That's a great look. We'll make that a gift. So let's try the wine. So try and take the wax off yeah give it to the eagle scout here yeah so we, we had trouble with the undertaker wine last time we're using the box cutter that my company frowns upon because they're not safe so we're gonna try and get the wax off because it broke the cork off last time wax. oh dear god come on james feel the power of the warrior Oh boy. No blading in wine tasting. You know, we'll, we'll get back to you when we have the bottle, you know, open. So big negative about this wine, the corks do not come out easily whatsoever. We had this problem with the Undertaker wine. We're having this trouble again with the Warrior wine. So big negative there. I those other two wines. Now, now comes the fun part. We get to drink it. WWE needs to do a much better job of their uh, corking skills. So our sommelier, Graham, aka Mom See the Voice, uh, discovered we we thought it was a white wine, uh, but apparently it's a red wine. It's a Zinfandel, and I thought Zinfandel was white wine. I was, I was completely what? wrong. Whoops! What am I sitting here? So let's. A Cuba Gold Girl. 
just like sniff it, right? He wanted to do the oh. You gotta stir it. He wanted to do the It's my nephew. You can hear him in the background enjoying his go Let it sit on your palate. Okay. Pizza. No, this wine's not bad. It's not good either. You wanna try some? He's not having any, I promise. All right, Mom, tell me what you think of the Ultimate Warrior wine and speak up so we can hear you over the children in the next room. Well, since we thought it was a white Zinfandel and found that it was a red, it's chill, which is generally a no-no. But because it is a sweeter wine, it really isn't taking away from the taste of it. It's chill. I've checked the legs on it, which I'm having a hard trouble finding. But... Hi, Pip. That's my niece, Adley. It has a deep aroma of grape. Don't all wines have a deep aroma of grape? Is that how you make wine with grapes? But also cherry. I'm noticing cherry. Do you taste the war the spirit of the warrior pulsing through your veins now? You want to like shake the ropes, tear the door off the car. When I try the wine against my palate, I feel like I'm Myself in neon yellow orange, ready to be the warrior. Oh my, that, that was very special. So, welcome back to my house, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my bedroom. The Dave Cave is below us, and I forgot to film an outro video at my mom's house, so we'll just do it right here. So, yes, final thoughts on the wine. I paid about a hundred dollars for the two bottles in total. Um, and you are not paying $50 a bottle for wine. You are paying $50 a bottle for the name WWE. You're paying $50 for The Undertaker, for The Ultimate Warrior, um, to say that you're drinking WWE wine. You're not drinking for wine that is going to knock your socks off. I mean, I've I've had a lot of wine in my day, but not enough to be like, oh, this is really good, this is really bad. Um, but so, yeah, it's... I mean, it's up to you if you want to spend $100 to say I drank WWE wine. Um, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I got to share it with my family during the holidays. Um, the, the biggest uh, gripe I'd have to say is about the cork. You saw in both bottles, um, getting the cork out was not an easy task. And, you know, my family has uncorked several bottles of wine in our day, and we like to think we're pretty good at it. And it's not like we were using cheap dollar store bottle openers. We were using legit wine corks or corkscrews, whatever you want to call them, um, to get it out. But as you can say, see, both crumbled, both fell apart, both were very difficult to get out. So that's my biggest gripe. Um, if you know, if you got the wine, let me know what you thought. If you were able to get the cork out easily, um, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know what you thought of this video. Um, you know. Would I get the wine again? Probably not, but it was a good purchase. I had fun with it, and I hope you enjoyed watching us tasting the wine this holiday season. And uh, in terms of the holiday season, I hope you and yours have a very safe, healthy, and happy holiday season, uh, regardless of what you celebrate. Um, but yeah, so that is going to do it for this episode of DC TV. I hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope you watch the next video we come out with real soon. Uh, and uh, until next time, on behalf of myself and everyone involved in DC TV on this episode... Uh, don't forget to tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone, and God bless America. Happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to my